How was the thief on the cross saved without doing any works? How was the thief on the cross saved without doing works? Well, the thief on the cross acknowledged that the man hanging on the cross was was not guilty. So if you're not guilty and you're not and, and you're not you're you're being condemned on uh, on uh, on a, in an unfounded manner. He understood enough of the principles of God that God would have to raise him up. And if he's a justified person he, that God has to raise up, and he associated with that party, understanding that he would be raised, despite the fact he had no works to correspond with his faith, he couldn't be baptized, he couldn't be circumcised, he couldn't offer sacrifice, he had but one choice, either believe that the party that he's viewing is is capable of not only raising from the dead, which he which he did, but is able to promise him the promise that Christ did promise when Christ said, "This day thou shalt be with me in paradise." So it's a faith issue only, without any works, and that's a prototype for for the Gentile, and I'm glad I'm a Gentile.